Oh everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Balloons TD Battles. Uh, for all you don't know, I guess I'm playing on a new site now because it's default. Um, I guess there's a bit of a different look up here. Achievements, awesome points, and Jakubi coins, yada yada yada. But anyways, it's been like forever since I played Balloons TD Battles, uploaded, or just recorded in general. So, we're back to episode 49, I believe. And what we're going to be doing today is Ice Towers Only. Alright, continue that one tower series. But, um, yeah, we have a couple issues here. Ice towers are very, very disabled. Um, they, they can't pop, um, they cannot pop, whatchamacallit, white balloons. And they cannot pop, um, frick, what, Moabs. They, they're com completely immune, or, <sighs> white balloons and Moabs are completely immune to ice towers. They cannot do anything to them. Oh, and also, um, uh, camos. Camos cannot do anything to ice towers. So yeah, I have a lot of disabilities here. I've decided for um, white balloons, I'm going to use apprentices for, uh, or just a single lightning wizard, just to care take care of all whites and zebras. For camos, I'll have a monkey village, and for moabs, well, if my opponent sends a moab and um, I can't beat him before then, then I'm screwed. There's, there's just no way around it. So let's see, what I'm planning to do, I'm just going to go with like a bunch of 2-1 ice towers to start off with, but I'm eventually going to want to get to an arctic wind. I think that is my game plan for now. It's not like ice stalling or anything, because obviously I have my ice towers up to snap freeze. So they have the ability to pop the balloons. Oh, that one got by, though. It's kind of annoying. Alright, perfect, yeah. So I don't know. I, th I would think these could do okay. <laughs> but, I don't know. Ice, ice towers are uh, pretty cool. Snowy and stuff. That kind of stuff. But, um, yeah. Speaking of snow, it's like April. You know, I mean, it's April, and like an hour before recording this, I look outside and all of a sudden it starts snowing. What the heck? Ah, only where I live. Only where I live. It snows in April. Ain't that just great? But I mean, it's like not much. It's only like half an inch or something, but still. Anyway, this guy, I, I guess um, I, I didn't comment on his uh, record yet. He hasn't played too many games, maybe 50-ish from what I remember. But he's got a 2-3 boomerang. I don't know if it's on last or anything, but I think he's also going for another 0-3 boomerang. And he hasn't sent out any balloons, which is a blessing. <laughs> because if he did, they would totally screw up my ice towers. I think I'm doing the best I can with ice towers. I have no idea how much economy I want to get, though. Um, just as long as I'm... You know. Oh, crap, he's sending out pinks now, which is going to be a big, big issue. Frick, I'm going to get another one of these guys. I'm done with economy now. Fun, fun's over. <laughs> I've just got to get a ton of 2-1 ice towers. No, please stop sending pinks. Holy crap. <laughs> if I can actually eventually stop these, that'd be great, but I don't see it happening. Yeah, ice, ice towers are too... Oh, no, he stopped. He stopped. He stopped. Oh, no. <sighs> Never mind. Spoke too soon. All right. I'm getting most of them, actually. Holy crap. Ice towers are like every bend. I'm starting to leak less and less and less. Alright, this is the point where I actually want to get up the apprentice, though, just to deal with, um, whites and stuff. Take him here, I'll put him on strong, and I will get him up to 2-0, I think. Yeah, 2-0 should work. Look at that, <laughs> my ice tower is holding him off. <laughs> what have you ever seen, a, like, almost a pure ice tower defense? Oh, but now he's sending out blacks, this is going to be tough. Yeah, I actually bet the apprentice is helping out a ton, though. I probably would have been dead by now if it wasn't for the apprentice. I'm not saying apprentices are good, but that's what... I Oh yeah, it's another reason why I decided to choose the Apprentice. It's not that good a tower, so I mean, it's not going to add too much popping power. So I'm going to help out against the Whites. And actually, I'm still leaking after all of that. No, please. Please stop it. Stop it. Okay, um, I'm going to get you up to 2-1. And all of these, oops, some of these are probably going to want to go on uh, Deep Freeze. And then I'm going to want Arctic Wind, so I better start saving up. Maybe I'll just sell like a bunch of stuff at once for an Arctic Wind. Because once I have an Arctic Wind, I'm basically unstoppable. And he's just going overkill on the towers. He's got like a 3-2 Ninja and 2-3 Boomers. Yeah, I'm not going to really send out anything for now. I just got to save up for defenses. So I got to get the village in a prime spot. Take care of all camos and such. And he's back to sending out whites again. I have my apprentice on strong just to make sure he takes out all the whites. But, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please don't kill me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Two... <laughs> wow, yeah, Temple is not the best map. And sorry, guys, that was actually really loud. Um, didn't mean to be that loud. 
I don't know, I'm not feeling the best, but as you can tell, Ice Tower is not too good as your primary popping power. Now, I'm actually surprised he wasn't sending out any economy boons or anything, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to try this out. If one ep at least one episode I can get an Arctic Wind, that'd be nice, but I, I don't know, I can't guarantee anything. So here we are, Yin Yang. Just pick Super Monkey, whatever. And hopefully, um, hopefully I'll fare better here, even though there's, like, less Ice Tower spots. I mean, for Temple, at least he had, had like, good curves or something. Yin Yang. No, no good Ice Tower spots, really. And if this guy knows anything about sending out balloons, I'm probably screwed. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, we're at episode 49. It is, like, one away from episode 50. And if I haven't really made this clear yet, there is going to be a special... A special video for episode 50 of Bloons TD Battles. Yeah, I've decided to um, do specials for, uh, well, like, subscriber milestones and for, um, well, like, episode milestones, I guess. So, I don't know. I think you guys should enjoy it. If you haven't, I, I, it's been a while since I've, like, uploaded episodes basically devoted to me trying to kick butt and stuff with, like, decent strategies. Yeah, it, it's been a while. So, uh, that that's what the uh, 50th episode is going to be about. Yeah, you'll see. I'm not going to spoil everything yet. Alright, so I got two one zero Ice Towers. And they're actually demolishing the Red Sea sending at me, which is great. Um, yeah, I did not want to have to uh, have those get through. And he's got a Boomer and a Cannon. Um, I think I should just probably save up for more Ice Towers. But yes, guys, prepare yourselves. Episode 50 of Blue and Seed Bells is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, that's all I have to say. Anyways, yeah, there's like... A lot of stuff that I want to record, I just really do not have the time. I want to get up, like, you know, another Minecraft video, um, you know, more battles episodes, like, you know, including this special. I also want to, um, film some, uh, Balloon Super Monkey, for, because, uh, for those who don't know, a sequel to that game is coming out soon. Balloon Super Monkey 2, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna upload a bunch of videos of that, for sure. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to record, just don't have the time. So I bet you're wondering why I'm sending out pinks. The reason is a 2-3 boomerang will not stop all the pinks on Yin Yang, but also, um, pinks, um, eat up your money, uh, slower, so I can, uh, afford ice towers on the side, too, while he also chooses to get more boomerangs. Look at that, he's leaked, uh, 25 lives already. Lol, I'm doing better with ice towers than he's doing with boomerangs. <laughs> That's funny. I guess he's trying to get out more stuff now as I just keep massing the 1 0 or 1 0 or 1 1 ice towers. Hoping this round ends soon because I'm going to switch over to blacks and then he'll just probably be screwed. I I'm waiting. How, how long is this round? Oh, yeah, it's round 5. That's the one with like all the blues and stuff. Take you, strong, perfect. Almost ready now. And yeah, as soon as um, oh he's got a glaive ricochet now. I, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he's set. My academy is 373, less than last game, but you know what? It's not gonna matter as much. I think I should still be fine. <laughs> as soon as I can get this lightning, which will actually be really soon, he will not be able to get like anything by me. I, I know it's mainly for the white spad. He kind of does just help out against pretty much everything else, really. So let's see. Hey, I'll just send out some economy balloons. Why not get up a tad more economy? Uh, then I'll head back to ice towers. So yeah, uh, let, let's see how this can go. Um, I've I guess I've kind of been wondering what have you guys been thinking of this what one tower uh, only mini series? I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's just something I thought I'd try to do because I don't really want to have you know every single episode be the same. Just you know me doing my best strategy and stuff. I don't, I don't want it to get too repetitive, so I'm trying to mix it up. Um, vent, uh, venturing to the um, weird corners of the Bloons universe. Where, um, yeah, where I'm trying out weird stuff like this. I don't know. L let me know what you think. If you really, like, don't like it or something, I, I guess I've noticed a bit of decrease in the ratings. I don't know for what reason. Maybe it's just because ninjas are bad, but whatever. Anyways... I guess he's trying to send out yellows now, but as you see, I'm saving up a crap ton of money. I got 3,300, and that's slowly increasing, because I'm going for that Arctic Wind. Actually, I'm going to get a village first, then I'll go for the Arctic Wind, I think. Maybe? How do I want to do this? <laughs> oh, he disconnected! 
he must have been very scared of my ice towers right there. <laughs> he's like, oh man, he, he's a scary guy. He's got all those ice towers. I can't stop him. Yeah. Well, nah, that stinks. I, I was actually kind of doing relatively better that episode. Or that match. Yeah, I can't say anything right. Anyways, let's see if we can um, find another match on any map but cards. Because I cannot handle cards. I guess Temple's alright. And it's against somebody who I would think is a noob. He hasn't played that much, so. This will give me a chance to go all Ice Towers. Yippee! <laughs> Anyways. Batman1045. Sweet. Um... So yeah, what else did I want to talk about? Um, do I want to try using the other side of the ice tower? I mean, like, you know, I I've been talking about Arctic Wind a lot and how that's just the wall, but do I want to try ice shards? And maybe even ab absolute zero, for that matter. And the answer is uh, probably not. Just because I don't really see them to be that worth it, really. I mean... I don't know. For ice shards, first of all, there needs to be a non-ice tower popping all the balloons for the ice, shard, ice shards to work. And while I will have, like, a single apprentice, um, it's, it's not going to be that much popping power. Alright, so he has a single bomb tower. I'm going to just send out space blues. I don't care about economy as much. Oh, never mind. He has a 3-0 cannon now. But, um, space blues actually do better against a, uh, 3-0 cannon, then group threads. That's the only time you could use space blues, but even still, it's not that much a difference. You'll get, like, 20 lives on him. I, I just want to get a couple lives, see what happened. So he's got a really fast 3-2 three, three uh, cannon. My god. He came prepared, I guess. So I'm just going to keep massive up these ice towers, then I'm going to send out pinks, because on Temple, a 3-2 bomb tower will not handle pinks, at least to my knowledge. Unless if that's like some magic spot or something. If he's able to hold off pinks in that spot, I'd be thoroughly impressed. Oh, he's got a tax shooter. That, that tax shooter is actually going to help a ton against the pinks. I mean, the bomb tower actually would leak like, you know, blues and greens and stuff. This tax shooter is going to catch them all. So, I'm going to just send out a few more economy stuff. Gradually getting more economy. And then back to the ice towers, because I'm going to need a good amount. Because if I don't have a good amount of ice towers, I'm screwed. Wait, did he leak from that? Huh. I don't know, maybe his computer's just bad or something. Right, he's also got a boomerang. He's constantly building more towers, so I see. And I'm getting another snap freeze. No, 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 please, come back. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Not too big a deal, I have 143 lives. He has 137, so I'm actually still ahead. This so might be the time where I want to get the apprentice. I'll put him here, strong. And I'll start saving up, I guess. Maybe. Okay, so round five, he has towers all over the place. I mean, granted, his defense should work, but it's just, it's pretty funny. Um, he's got a 2-2 two -two boomerang, a 3-0 bomb, and two random tax shooters in the back. I, I was about to say, I bet I could do some decent damage against him with blacks, but now he's sending out pinks, so that actually uh, worries me. <laughs> I'm going to send him a few blacks, just to keep him on his toes. Because if that boomeranger misses any of the blacks, he's actually just screwed. Yep, like that. Although I don't know if he actually missed it. Because that tax shooters, those tax shooters are not going to be able to hold him off. So I'm going to keep going with this, actually. It's kind of working. Just random reds there. Don't mind me. And I'm getting some serious lives on them now. Oh man, he must be lagging big time. Poor guy. I mean, I did see good amount of balloons to go through, but still. Anyways, he's got a boomeranger up to 2-3. So I think he is pretty much set against everything. I'm not going to send regrows against him. I actually want to try to get at least like round 15 using ice towers. I know I can do it. So I'm going to send out some economy balloons. I need that economy big time. And then from here, about 410-ish. Now I start saving up for that Arctic Wind. Perfect. Oh god, regen whites. Not good, not good, not good. Not good at all. Um, how are my ice towers doing? Oh, yeah, they're fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I leaked some. I'm actually surprised. That's not doing too bad. Uh, the ice towers are just slowly catching everything, I guess. Yeah, go ice towers and apprentice combo. Oh, my gosh. Is this actually working? He, he got a good amount of lives past me, but... And now he's sending regen leads, which is a... 
I don't know. Is that more balloons, I guess? So he'll do more damage. Um, oh, you know, I need to, I need to, uh, get this up to here. And now camo time. Oh, wait, you don't have any camo. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Time for you to die. He, he was just scaring me too much. I could not afford camo and I had to kill him. How much time is this recording take? Oh my gosh, has that been a really short recording so far? Um, only 15 minutes, my god. Uh, usually I stop at three games, but it's, it, it's more like 20, 25 minutes. That's what matters more to me. And these ice tower battles are actually taking really short. Did I just... <laughs> I, I, I can't believe my uh, like uh, hypocrisy in the last game. I'm like, okay, I want to make this go late so I can see true power of ice towers. Nope, camel pinks. Well, this should be interesting. On the mines. Against somebody who actually seems pretty good. He has a 2-1 to -one win loss record. Played almost 300 games. So I bet he knows what he's doing. And I'm not quite sure what he's going to be thinking. If I go Ice Towers only. <laughs> this should be. Uh, this, should, this should be very interesting. So where do I even want this? There's like no really really good spots on the mine. For Ice Towers. But I mean I guess there's some decent curves. How about here for now? Alright perfect. I'm probably going to want one up here because around this curve would actually be pretty helpful. Um, a second ice tower, maybe right here. <laughs> nah, sorry about that, guys. I have a bit of sinus problems. I've had to skip a couple days of school just because of allergies and they suck. I know it's bad. So he's sending out blues, which actually is probably the smart thing to do against ice towers, to be honest. Even though I have two of them now, I mean, I'm kind of set. And still, I guess he was saving up for that uh, two or three, or maybe at least one three boomeranger. But yeah, I, I gotta make him upgrade that thing. Sending out reds and stuff. Alright, so he's sending out blues. They're at, I'm actually holding them off decently well. They're not getting past or anything. Which is good to know. I'm probably gonna get a third ice tower sometime soon, though. Oh god, I just really. He, he, this is definitely a guy who's gonna send out pinks. I, I can almost guarantee it. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna get him here. I'm gonna get him up to two zero. <laughs> I mean, he he knows he he knows not to go for the economy balloons here. I, I can just sense he's gonna send out pinks. Crap, <laughs> crap. Well, this is gonna be a very interesting. Mines is definitely not the best map for uh, ice towers. No very good spots or anything like that. Um, let's see. Go for another ice tower. Right about here, maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know how this is working out. He's still sending out space. Oh, no. Nope. The pinks. Oh, I called it. D did I call it, guys? Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I knew I knew he'd send out pinks. He's also getting a spike factory to uh, catch any leaks that go by, which is smart. Something you want to do. But, yeah. I got to figure out if it's still possible to just keep going with these ice towers. I assume he's going to send out blacks then. And then I'll probably be screwed. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually get my apprentice now. Start saving up. He's actually kept me on my toes for the whole game. <laughs> I have not been able to go economy much at all. Um, what am I doing? F 286 economy. I have the apprentice now. He's on last, shooting down this line. And if I can get him to lightning in time, I wouldn't say I'd be set, but at least I'd be leaking relatively less. <laughs> um, yeah. So as soon as this gets up to lightning, I I'm already leaking less, which is great. But lightning should totally just save my butt. So yeah, he's got three towers. I have no chance of getting anything past him. Right now, I just really, really need to focus on the ice tower and apprentice and stuff. Actually, I can send out a couple balloons here. Just a couple random stuff. Maybe boost my economy a tad. But now that I have lightning, I should be set. You know what? Maybe I actually will go for the ice shards. Just because... Uh, it's going to be really tough to afford an Arctic Wind. I don't see myself being able to do it. What am I going to do? I, this one's probably going to be an Ice Shards. Um, what do I want to do? I do want to get them a, a Deep Freeze. Because it's kind of pointless if the Apprentice pro pops them when they're frozen. Then they won't stay frozen. Which is actually kind of annoying. But at the same time. Ice Shards actually might be helpful. I don't know. This might be the first time I've seen Ice Shards in battles. And we'll see if it works. I guess... I don't know, but in the end, I want an Arctic Wind. An Arctic Wind would be necessary. I, and I'm actually surprised how well I'm able to hold off Blacks with this defense. What the frick? <laughs> ah, that's, that's just great. That's great. <laughs>
surprise yourself every day. He's trying to send off whites now, which really won't make a difference. Well, maybe I guess it will. <gasps> oh, ice shards time. Sweet. Oh, yeah, actually, I, whites are quite making the difference. Um, doesn't seem that ice shard seems to be as... I, you know, I mean, I definitely see some ice shards here. Pop them. Yep, there we go. Ice shards. I'm still leaking a good amount, which is not good. If those were regen balloons, I would be so screwed right now. So, let's see what to do. I'm still constantly leaking, which is L bad. L bad. Excellent Spanish right there. And, yeah, village. So, let's see. Will I be able to afford camel detection? <laughs> nope, but you know what? I'm still going to try. It's round 11, and I'm trying to afford this. If I have to, I'll probably sell an ice tower or two or three. <laughs> No, I'm probably going to have to, <laughs> to afford camel detection, I'm probably going to have to sell each and every one of these ice towers. That's how bad it is. So, I'm watching you. Let's see what he sends out. I'm really scared to see what he sends out. I'm trying, oh my, okay, that's yeah, just more whites. He is sending out a crap ton of whites now. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, And that would be game for me. Ice towers are not going to be able to hold off this much. And I really, no, I can't do anything about it. More ice towers quickly! No! <laughs> ah, that, that's great. Well, that's about it, guys. Thanks all you guys for watching. Ice towers only and stuff. So, yeah, don't don't go with ice towers. <laughs> only. It, it was fun to try without ice shards, though. I didn't know how well it would work. It didn't work out too well to my advantage, but... Still fun to try and stuff. So, yeah, thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and... That's about it. Bye.